Hello everybody, this is Trading Gamer back for another Jurassic World Evolution Mod Showcase! And yes, we got, well, three, well, technically four more pretties to showcase, but only three new ones. For those of you that have been joining voice chat recently on the um, Dinosaur King Discord, I think you know that this is going to be an interesting showcase. And you'll see why in a minute. And you'll see why, why I've put T-Rex in here as well. So, we're, let's let's not dilly-dally, let's get on with the first one, and this one is one I've been meaning to do, well, I finished, I started months ago, but I never got around to finishing it, so, ladies and gentlemen, we have a Piatnitskisaurus. Ah, oh, look at these, I the scabby. Yes, finally managed to finish this poisonous pest. And it's not, it only took me, what, five, six... Oh, oh, that was terrible, then, the eyes. Only took me about five, six months to actually finish it. Oh, there's a Gojurasaurus for there. I forgot about him. I always forget about Gojurasaurus. And yes, this Piatnitskisaurus does have the poison, which is no surprise because it's obviously inspired by Venom Fang. So, yeah, not much to say there. Piatnitskisaurus is Piatnitskisaurus. He'll probably fight the Gojurasaurus and might kill it. Yeah, to balance the Piatnitskisaurus out, I did... I didn't give it two insane stats, you know, just to make up for the fact that it has poison. <laughs> He's a little scumbag. You're going to deliver some venom for... Oh, hang on, they might be fighting already. Tell you what, we'll have a watch. We'll have a watch. Because this is probably the only time we'll see pa Pianitskisaurus in this video. Oh, look at it. Gojurasaurus is so much bigger than it. Yeah, maybe I could have used the Herarasaurus model for the Pianitskisaurus, but I wanted to use Proceratosaurus. Yum. Oh, Gojurasaurus getting in there then. I mean, let's be honest. I Herarasaurus is pretty much the go-to model for pretty much all the small wind dinosaurs. I used it on Gojurasaurus. I used it for Lillian Sternus. Probably going to use it to make other small wind dinosaurs as well. Oh no, the Pianitskisaurus is dead. Ah, oh, poor, poor Pianitskisaurus. Yeah, a bit late to tell me now. Although the Gojurasaurus is poisoned, and yeah, 50 33, so that's basically 83 to 65. So yeah, Gojurasaurus had almost 20 extra stats on it, of course it was going to win. But the Piatnitskisaurus has poisoned it. But anyway, I have put the um, poison resistance on all my new species up quite high, so. Right, this one is not Hy Hyungasaurus, I haven't made it into a new species yet. So you'll find out what it is now. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a Lexovasaurus. This Lexovasaurus was, um, I think the thing with the Stegosaurs in Dinosaur King is that they, you want to get the right number of plates, and Huayungasaurus had two less sets of plates in comparison to the Lexovasaurus, so I actually had to add two, which is which are around by the neck area. But yeah, I'm going to go into capture mode. But yeah, Huay. Pyungasaurus was just the perfect model to use. I did contemplate using Chunkingosaurus, but the pl there was far too few plates to use Chunkingosaurus. Maybe it could be used for Tajongosaurus, but we'll just have to see. But yeah, Lexovasaurus, quite a popular... Well, I wouldn't say a popular... A well... Not a very well-known dinosaur, if I'm frank. And in fact, because it is, it was discovered in Europe, it wouldn't be a surprise if this thing was just like a genus of Desanchororus. You know, because we do have very few remains of Lexovasaurus specimens. And Desanchororus did live in around Europe and that. So it wouldn't be a surprise if this thing turns out to just be a Desanchororus. But yeah, here, yeah, this is our dinosaur king, Lexovasaurus. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Not... I mean, the yellow could be a little bit brighter, maybe, but I was ha I was satisfied with the yellow. Yellow can be quite a tricky colour to work with. But yeah, that is our Lexovasaurus.
All right, back on track. Yes, we have an Uluru Titan. Um, this one was quite awkward to do because, for whatever reason, the Dinosaur King Uluru Titan has a crest like this, whereas the other like pictures of Uluru Titan, which I found online, have the crest like that way. So yeah, I did have to edit the crest quite a bit to make it look like this. But yeah, a sound up job. Not too difficult to make, to be honest, as it was pre pretty much a solid color with this patterning across the body. I did bulk it out a little bit because the uh, Jurassic World one was quite skinny and this one's a bit more tubby. But yes, we have Uluru Titan. Not much to say, to be honest. All right, now for the biggest one of this showcase. Yes, it is another hybrid and this one is a hybrid like no other. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Paki Rhino Titan. Yes, with this bludgeoning behemoth, a hybrid component of both Uluru Titan and Pachyrhinosaurus. And look at it, look at it, it looks awesome. This thing is an absolute beast, put it that way. And yes, as you can see, it inherits the crest from Uluru Titan. And it has a bit of pachyrhinosaurus in it, hence the, hence the spikes and the green bit by there. And this little V-shaped dip, which the Pachyrhinosaurus has. And it obviously inherits the basically the anatomy of the Pachyrhinosaurus in terms of the body shape and that, with the horns as well. Very interesting hybrid this one. I, like, it's it feels really unique because I f I didn't think it would be possible to do like a hybrid between a Ceratopsid and a Hadrosaur, but I made it work. So yes, elongated skull here did like the uh, Hadrosaur mouth thing here, so it looks Hadrosauri. And fun fact, this Pachyrhino Titan, even though it won't do it in this game because this Jurassic World Evolution in Frontier and that, this Pachyrhinosaurus can actually rear up on two legs to reach vegetation, using its elongated tail, which is kind of messed up, to balance itself out. Yes, the Pachyrhino Titan, the herbivore all carnivores fear, an absolute monstrous hybrid of electricity and grassness. And yes, for some reason it doesn't it's not classified as a hybrid even though I did all the hybrid classification bits when I made this into a new species just when you thought the triceratops was if you thought the triceratops was big you ain't seen this thing this thing dwarfs the triceratops it's absolutely massive and oh, well I would have made it bigger but you know frontier Jurassic World evolution restrictions la di da di da well we can't have a new herbivore hybrid and not have it kill something so before we get on with that, just a couple of updates first. We have Lambiosaurus magna Cristatus as a new species, courtesy of our good chum Dino Nerd, and the skin, as I'm sure I mentioned before, made by Toka Nightmare. We finally have it! The Lambiosaurus magna Cristatus, looking magnificent. Although I probably would have preferred it if if they ju if he just changed just had the L and then the dot and then magna Cristatus. But oh well, we won't complain. We'll take the species we're given. Okay, another one that has been meaning to get to a new species for ages and I just could not get it to work. Again, Dino Nerd got it to work for me. Fukuisaurus. Yes, Fukuisaurus, finally a new species. And this Fukuisaurus is all is special because I actually gave it poison to symbolize the Venom Fang. No, not Venom Fang, Emerald Garden. Well, we won't see it because I actually removed the Gojirasaurus and this thing can't fight anything, so it's probably just going to get hunted but down by the large carnivores I'm about to put in here. Pachyrhino Titan is an absolute beast. Let's just have a look at his stats real quick. So yes, 82 attack and 56 defense. So let's compare that to Stegoceratops real quick. Stegoceratops has 93 attack and 30 defense, so that's 123. Pachyrhino Titan has 138 total stats. That is basically on par with T-Rex, and you're going to see what this thing can do. Well, here's a return in classic. Let's check the Giga in the arena and see if this Giganonosaurus can defeat Pachyrhino Titan. Giganonosaurus, yes, it's one of the very first mods I actually did, Giganonosaurus, but you know, like with my other old mods, I lost it, so I had to remake it from scratch. Well, not from scratch, Dino Nerd provided me with a better model for the Giga, and I provided with the skin. 
and we are going to see if this Giganonosaurus can take on Pachyrhinotype. But we're going to release other duck carnivores as well, so we don't have to wait 20-30 minutes for them to actually fight. So out you come, buddies! Which one of these can get killed by the, 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 the Pachyrhinotitan first? Oh, oh, well, I think Lexovasaurus is gone. <laughs> the Giga picking an easy fight. Oh, I'll tell you what, though, Lexovasaurus getting a good hit there. Yo, the Giga, I think the Giga, well, look at, yeah, look at the Giga. He should, he could kill this thing easily. His head is bigger than the whole bloody body. Hang on, why are you panicking for? You're not, you, you have better stats in this Giga. Um, I don't know what's happening here. You have better stats than the Giga. Get out, get your butthole out here. Oh, the T-Rex making peace with Lambiosaurus Magna Cristatus. Ah, oh, poor Hyungasaurus. It's like, oh, right, I'll accept my death. Ooh, T-Rex going towards Pachyrhinotitan there. Yum. Well, Lexovasaurus is dead, but that's all right. That means now they can only fight the Pachyrhinotitan, which is hiding over here. Get your butthole out here. I'll tell you what, sod it. We'll release more Pachyrhinotitans. Get your butthole in the arena now. So yeah, let's have a look. The T-Rex has a stats of 140. And this guy has 138. So the T-Rex should still beat it. But Pachyrhinotitan is not to be underestimated. Look at, look at him. He wants to get stuck in here. He wants to take these two on. Um, yeah, pa the name Pachyrhinotitan. Actually, I didn't come up with a name. I, I believe Ultimate Dino King came up with a name. I mean, I couldn't think of a name to come up with, if I'm, if I'm honest. I just... I wanted, like, a name that's... I don't know. I just didn't really think of a name that I wanted. So, yeah, I... I liked Packy around the time. Um, it's Roman apparently, but it looks dead to me. Oh, look at that Giga against Spino. Wait, what's happened to the Fukuisaurus? It's like, is, is, is it is it faking? Like, I, I don't know what's happened to it. Ooh, I, no, I, oh, no, oh, I thought the Carno was going to be the first victim. Oh, for goodness sake, the Spino's dead. But the Giga, stop killing things. You're supposed to team up against the Packy Rhino Titans. Ooh, here we go, here we go. A f oh, it's a Giga taking on the Packy Rhino Titan over there, but it's Carno. We'll, we'll watch this one first, because I suspect the Carno's way over outclassed in this. Oh my, oh my god, it killed it in one hit. Wow, the power of this behemoth. Boah, bludgeon right in the skull. Ripping its neck a new one. Packy Rhino Titan showing no mercy. Oh, the Giga's gone! Giga stood no chance. Look at it. It's a powerhouse of a herbivore. Giganonosaurus, no match for Pachyrhinotitan. Yeah, it's because all the bloody carnivores are fighting the herbivores. Look at this. Pachyrhinotitan is such a beast. It's going to gonna be one hell of a powerhouse in the Battle Royale, this thing. Oh, so fucking axe. Oh my god, it didn't even get a hit! <laughs> Packy Rhino Titan is a powerhouse, apparently. Look at it. Soro fucking axe gone. Whoa. Actually, I don't know any fusion moves that would work with this one. Well, all the herb all the carnivores are dead except for Eocarcaria. And the Spino just entered the arena. Alright, I think we need some reinforcements. Let's release the hybrids. We'll chuck in a Stegogira and its Mega Faganax. And let's see if these two, the Pachyrhina Titans, can stop them. Oh, Stegogira has entered the fray. Can our, can our small hybrid put up a fight against Pachyrhina Titan? Oh, there he is. There's the big dog, Mega Faganax. Can Mega Faganax take him down? I mean, it should. It basically has the same stats as Indominus Rex. So Mega Faganax should should defeat the Pachyrhina Titans. Oh, for, for, for goodness sake, you're supposed to fight the Pachyrhina Titans, not each other. Ugh. I mean, we know Mega Faganax is going to win that matchup because it does have better stats than the Stego Jura. But come on, guys. Oh, hang on. Here we go. I think there's going to be a fight between Spinosaurus and Pachyrhinotitan. Okay, this Spinosaurus is on 100. So it should put up a good fight. 
But look at Paki riding a tight that was huge. Makes the Spino look tiny. Okay, Spino got the first hit. Interesting, but yeah, this Paki riding a tight is going to strike straight back. Look at that. Boah, right in the face. Going to disfigure that jaw when it's done with it. Oh, another hit from Paki riding a tight in the Spino. Cutting the Spinosaurus, take it down. Wow, he made the Spino back down. 34. Oh, it's an, e it's an even match. Alright, T-Rex, get your butt all in here. Oh, here we go. This could be interesting. Dego Jura taking on Paki Rhino Titan. Ooh, is it is it a bad matchup for our little hybrid? I suspect it will be. A fusion of wind and earth going up against a fusion of grass and lightning. Oh my god, it killed it! Oh wow! Do not underestimate Stego Jira. It somehow has manned up and killed the Paki Ranata. It must have been on low health. It had to be on low health. Alright, let's see if this Paki Rhino Titan can fare any better as it takes on the spine. Now, last time it was quite an even match. The Spino did. The Paki Rhino Titan did hold its own against the Spino, so. That really T Rex. This could be a very interesting match. Okay, Spino got the first hit there before the T Rex blocked it with his arse. Oh, Spino getting a beat in there. Ooh, blood showing. Paki Rhino Titan get another. Oh, look at that. The Spino's gone. The Spinosaurus, no match for this bludgeoning behemoth. Boah, well, the animation is a bit rubbish, but, you know, it's not going to be perfect. Yes, the Pachyrhinus Pachy Titan's horns capable of breaking bone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, this is more like it. This is what I wanted. A fight between T-Rex and Pachyrhinus Titan. Let's see which one... Oh, okay, I think Paki Rhino Titan is going to win, but T Rex does get the first hit. Oh, look at that! One hit from Paki Rhino Titan, and T Rex is dead. Paki Rhino Titan is going to win this one. Even the mighty T Rex has to retreat when facing this beast. Well, this T Rex won't be retreating because he'll be dying. Oh my god, this, pa this Paki Rhino Titan is insane. It can it's just killing everything. Wow. I mean, the Stego Jura just got really lucky with that one, being on low health. Alright, we need another Mega Faganax. This is the ultimate test. Can it take down a Mega Faganax? Let's just have one last look. Let's just have one look at this behemoth, because it's awesome. And it's my very first hybrid. Mega Faganax is calling the challenge. The Paki Rhino Titan unfazed. Oh, this is it. Can the Mega Faganax take it down? Well, the Mega Faganax is on 100%, whereas the, this Paki Rhino Titan is not. So I think Mega Faganax will win this match. But I think two Paki Rhino Titans can take Mega Faganax down. Oh my god, Paki Rhino Titan getting the first hit! Ooh. Oh, I survived, but look at that, it's taking an absolute battering. Yeah, it stopped. No surprise there, Mega Faganax has loads of attack. But look at that, 125 attack. Really, really strong. 29%, it did do some damage though, Mega Faganax did take a beating. Ah, here we go. Okay, this is going to be the final fight. Oh, he's picked the injured Paki Rhino, Paki Rhino Titan. So both of these two have taken a beating, so... Oh, Packy Rider Titan getting the first hit! Mega Faganax meeting its match! Oh my god, it killed it instantly! Wow! Even the might of Packy Rider Titan was still no match for Mega Faganax! Um, I should point out that the, this Packy Rider Titan was weaker when it first fought the Mega Faganax, so... Yeah, I would definitely say 100% this Paki Rhino Titan would kill Mega Faganax. Oh, Lord, Lord bless it. All his colours gone. So, yeah, we're going to end this session here. I'm pretty convinced that this Paki Rhino Titan will kill Mega Faganax. 
So, yes, maybe Mega Faganax can take one down, but it definitely can't take two down. And that will conclude this mod showcase. So I hope you enjoyed. It's quite a long one because, you know, you have to wait for the battles and get the battle sorted out and that. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And I don't know when we're going to do another mod showcase. Um, hopefully I can get one done before Halloween. If I can't, then the next time it'll be a battle royale where we will see Packy Reiner Titan. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.